the day, we're going to bring this to a close and look at some of the other aspects uh, uh, that are related to the life of the believer in the use of the name of Jesus. Jesus said that we will be persecuted for his name's sake. In Matthew 10 and verse 22, he said, you know, people are going to hate you for one reason, because you bear my name, because you carry my name, uh, because you're representing me. Uh, because you're doing what I would do. Uh, you are revealing me to the world. You're bearing my name. Because of that, he said, you'll be hated, but you've got to endure to the end. And this is what I want to challenge you and me with. You know, in today's world, um, maybe uh, you and I, when we are persecuted for the name of Jesus, people are not necessarily going to come and beat us up. Now, that happens in some instances. But many times the persecution that you and I would face uh, would be in other ways. People would isolate us, would mock us, would laugh at us, would verbally attack us. Uh, you know, the, the, the attacks may be in a different form and not always necessarily be a physical attack. But regardless of how the attack comes, we need to have the same understanding as the apostles that it's an honor to suffer shame for his name. It's an honor to be persecuted because you bear the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus also mentioned that we will be invited to sacrifice for his name's sake. Depending on, on, on the call of God on our lives, uh, different ones of us uh, will have to give up, will have to sacrifice uh, different things on this earth for the sake of his name. Now, the sacrifice each one of us are called, are diff called to make are different. We don't have to copy somebody else. You and I have to obey God and do what God has called us to do. But in his call on our lives, we there is sacrifice involved. We'll have to give up certain things or take on certain things uh, because of his name's sake. So uh, when we sacrifice, remember, we are offering it up to God. We are doing it willingly and God will reward us in this life in ways that we could never imagine. He will give to us more than what money can buy. He will give to us more than what we have sacrificed for the sake of his kingdom. He is sure to take care of us in this life. We are also called to bear that name in a very honorable way, to carry the name of Jesus in a way that is worthy of us having that name on our lives. The Lord said, go for he is a chosen vessel of mine to bear my name before Gentiles, kings, and the children of Israel. So he's saying this man has been picked up to bear my name. That means he's going to go before the kings, he's going to be, go before Gentiles, he's going to go before uh, people, the Jewish people as well, and he'll carry my name as he goes before them. Now, that just isn't specifically for the for Saul or the Apostle Paul, but that also applies to you and me as believers. The name of Jesus is forever. You know, this name is never going to fade away. If you look at history, uh, there have been uh, many people who've lived and who've left their mark on history. And, uh, you know, when we go through history books, we see their names. but the name of Jesus is a name that will endure forever. It says, therefore God also has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, of those in heaven, of those on earth, and of those under the earth, that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. So that's that name that we worship, we honor, that we stand up for, we bear, we carry. Uh, we are not ashamed uh, to have that name on our lives and be counted an honor if we are persecuted or if we have to sacrifice for the sake of that name. That name will endure forever. The power of that name will never diminish. The glory of that name will never fade away. What an honor it is that we could bear that name and we could speak that name during our time here on this earth.